when I had contemplative experiences um, in my 20s, and I, and I was nurtured mostly by, by, by Catholic sisters and some other contemplative folks, and I thought, okay, and I was a youth worker full time, I thought, how do I do this with kids? And so then I started learning, and, and it is different, you know, um, lighting a candle and turning off the lights helps a lot. <laughs> you know, um, sometimes talking through the whole exercise helps a lot because there's a, a, a heightened self-awareness and awkwardness. Um, guided meditations help. Sort of everything I learned about giving these kinds of practices to kids is in a book called Downtime. I, I, I think you can still get this thing somewhere, but I put, I put all the different exercises and then everything I learned about leading these kinds of exercises with, with kids in that. But what, what this kind of experience does, right, is it allows young people to be religious interpreters. That, that they can have a direct experience of God themselves. They don't just have to listen to the rest of us. And, and one of the, my tasks when I'm working with young people in a church setting or in a, you know, in a ministry is I want to give them tools and practices so that they can access and activate their spiritual life without me being there. You know, so they know ways of prayer and ways of being connected to this source. Some of those ways might look very silent. Some might be more active. Yeah.